something wonderful happens to me every morning, I wake up. <laughs> I'm 84 years old and I started thinking about what I want to be when I come back. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd like to be a pro prostitute. What do you think, George? Are you a prostitute? <laughs> of course, it's pretty dry, but I thought I could try it. <laughs> It's getting dicey. The police want discounts. Yeah, they all want discounts. Well, they give me 10 minutes up here because they think that's all the time I've got left. I can hardly blame them. My passport number is four. I've had so many body replacements. When I go through airport security, it sounds like I just hit the jackpot in Vegas. Airport security now. Has anybody flown lately? In a plane? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Yeah. No, I, love I love it because they explore your sensitive areas. My two husbands could never find mine. That's why I keep kissing you. Flying has changed so much since I was a kid, it really has. You can't just run across the tarmac into the into the plane, throw your rifle in the overhead, sit down and run a joint the legs. You can't do that anymore. But I was I was at Ryanair and the guy that was patting everyone down looked just like it looked a little like you, Joseph. <laughs> boyfriend and I thought, oh my god, I was starting to feel a flutter and I thought, oh, I'm going to say something really filthy, like I left my knickers at home, keep feeling. I mean, you know, I'm going to say something. <laughs> so I took out, I took out, my, I took out my, my pill caddy to take a tranquilizer and the guard dog saw it, he jumped up and he ate the pills and the pill caddy and dropped dead. <laughs> Life isn't fair, is it? <laughs> that dog didn't need a Prozac. I did. <laughs> Now that I'm 84, there are a lot of jobs open for me. There really are. Of course, as you get older, as you get older, you lose inches and you also get shorter. It's going to be this big. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it, honey. You're from Newcastle. five foot two and now I'm four foot ten. So I thought, you know, now I could be a really great fluffer. I'm just, a, we'll have to explain that to you because you're so sweet. I'm just the right height, you know? But I thought, no, no, I looked at the mirror and I thought, no, no, I'm better as a fluffer control. He gets too fluffed. I give him the grandmother look and down he goes. But I also have become a senior model. I'm a senior model. I'm on Suppose and Laura Ashley Prince, yeah? And non-skid nappies for seniors on the run. <laughs> yeah, speaking of jobs, speaking of jobs, if I were a man, I would get paid twice as much, I would get hired twice as much. If I were a man, I wouldn't have vaginal itch. <laughs> I wouldn't have to wear a bra. Hmm? I wouldn't have to wear makeup, but then I thought about that, and I thought, now if I were a man, I'd have to lift things, and I'd have to fix things, and I'd have to be a cunt. very old-fashioned. That really is old-fashioned. I mean, <laughs> women don't have, don't have to wear bras, and they don't have to they don't have to wear makeup. And if you have vaginal edge, you can you can have salve. That we have NHS, yeah, you know. And, <laughs> and men don't have to lift things, and they don't have to fix things. But I'd still be a cunt. <laughs> I know I'm wrinkled. 
I know I'm wrinkled. I used to tell people these were laugh lines, and then I realized nothing could be that funny. <laughs> You can see these things on Google Earth. I really love that joke. That tells you that I'm 84 and can still use a computer, so I'll try it again and you're gonna laugh. You can see these things on Google Earth. I'm so wrinkled, I'm so wrinkled, I took my bulldog to the vet and he gave me the shot. When you're my age, people think you don't matter. They think you don't matter. <laughs> the, leaf, the lifeguard pulled me out of the pool, and he looked at me and said, Oh my God, you've been in here a long time. <laughs> and then he threw me back in. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, uh, one of the things that's really nice about being my age, and this is for all you ladies, is for some reason, after a certain age, I think your metabolism gets tired or something, but you don't gain weight. When I turned 75, I stopped gaining weight. So I was at an ice cream parlor, and I ordered an ice cream, uh, an ice cream sundae with extra fudge and extra whipped cream, and the girl said to me, you forgot the nuts. I said, I lost those, I said, I'm not into that, I'm into, I'm, you forgot them. Again. Mm. I ordered a hot fudge sundae with extra fudge, extra good cream. She said, you forgot the cherry. I said, I lost that years ago, now I'm into nuts. She said, I, she said, you eat that, it's gonna go right to your hips. I said, they're brand new. <laughs> 84, 84, that's so fucking old, isn't it? <laughs> People think 84, she knows everything. People, I don't know a fucking thing. <laughs> I started comedy when I was 70 because I didn't want to peak too soon. <laughs> when I started, I didn't understand any of the words that anybody said. I really didn't. I didn't understand any of the words. And I was in San Francisco at the time because I'm from the same place Mike was from. I'm, and I, and I, I, I couldn't believe it that you people, you people, name the sex positions. Of course, in Newcastle, you don't. You just say, let's do it. <laughs> Knickers off. Or, no. <laughs> Everywhere else. <laughs> you name the sex positions. You know, the Venetian oyster, you know. Who <laughs> laugh. <laughs> the dirty Sanchez. Oh, my God. So I called the king of San Francisco County, his name is Tony Sparks. I said, Tony, what's the missionary position? And he told me, and I said, no, no, darling. But in my, my day, that was sex. <laughs> they did anything else, you called your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got this, what? Daddy did it too? You know, oh my God. Speaking Speaking of anal sex, does anyone, know, does anyone know what Crisco is? Crisco? If you're from America, you know what Crisco is. Crisco was used in the 40s and 50s to make pie crust. It's hydrogenated fat. It's like lard, but it's terrible for you. And uh, yeah, and, and Crisco was used to make uh, make pie crust. It was called the Crisco method. Nowadays, you can buy Crisco in the original packaging in Ann Summers and Nice and Naughty and all the sex shops because gay men use it for fisting. <laughs> Straight men use it for fisting too, but they buy it at Tesco's. <laughs> my, <laughs> my mother always swore by the Crisco method. <laughs> Which explains why my father was so bent over. <laughs> As I say, we were really very, very innocent when I was a kid. I mean, and the words that had absolutely no currency when I was young are really highly charged today. For example, gay was happy. When you turned on, you were a lamp. And you know, when you turned on, you were a lamp. And when you teabagged... <laughs> he'll explain that one to you, too. <laughs> Google it, Google it. When you cheat that, you drank it. And that is really filthy if you know what I'm talking about. The back door, the back door was in the kitchen. 
Yeah, really. My mother was in there so much, the first time I saw her without an apron, I didn't recognize her. I think, Your mother too? <laughs> I thought she made babies in there, so I asked her for the recipe, and she said, your husband will know it, but ignore him. I said, no, no, I thought when you got married, you got a baby. She said, no, no. When you get married, you get an expensive dress. I said, well, how do you get a baby? She said, you get drunk. I said, what about sex? She said, nice Jewish girls don't do that. <laughs> so I became an atheist. <laughs> With a mother like that, who needs God, right? <laughs> But as I said, we were really very innocent. We had a wedding night. Is there anybody here that has any idea what a wedding night is? The pill came in, the wedding night went out. <laughs> we had a wedding night. We had a wedding night. And I still remember, I, you know, I, when I was going to get married, I didn't know what was going to happen. And the first time I said, hmm, uh, the first time I saw a naked man, first time I saw a you wouldn't be interested in this. But the first time I saw a naked man, was on my wedding night. He came out of the bathroom and I looked at him and said, oh my God, what are we supposed to do with that thing? Throw horseshoes? And he said, no, this is how you pay for that expensive dress. I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna leave you with a little story that'll encourage you about growing old. Really, everybody has guilt about the elderly. When was the last time you called your grandmother? Is she dead? They do that. <laughs> I can't explain it. They, one day, they're, they're baking biscuits, they're giving you advice, and it's like, poof! They're in a jug. They're throwing them, they're scattering their ashes. <laughs> Grandmother's dead. Anyway, if, 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 if you use it right, if they, everybody has guilt about the elderly, if you use it right, it's worth money. <laughs> I was having tea at a tea room, and I reached in my wallet to pay the waitress, and she said, oh, don't worry about it, honey. Just enjoy your biscuit. Shall I soak it for you? <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, if it works here, it might work at John Lewis. <laughs> but it didn't. And the judge gave me six months for shoplifting. <laughs> but I appealed, and he reduced it to life. <laughs> I'm